Hello and welcome to Odoo Live. My name is Noel, Community Manager here at Odoo San Francisco, and thank you once again for joining us. I'm joined today by Anjanette, uh, one of our account executives, to discuss uh, communicating with your leads in Odoo's uh, VOIP. So welcome, Anjanette. All right, thank you for the introduction. Of course. If you have any questions regarding today's topic, you can put them in the chat. We'll answer them at the end during our Q&A session. And if you would like to get in touch with Anjanette directly, Anjanette, what is your email address? It is anj at o-d-o-o dot -O com. Exactly. Uh, so with that being said, go ahead and take it away, Anjanette. All right. Okay, so for today, we'll be focusing on utilizing Odoo's VOIP and CRM in tangent with each other. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and just bring up my screen real quickly. Okay, so if this is your first time ever seeing the Odoo database, this is pretty much your default page. And as mentioned, we will be going over the VOIP and how that works with our CRM. So before we start, I just want to point out this small little icon up at the top of my screen. So let me just increase it in size just a bit here. So you'll see this little phone icon if in fact you do have your VIP set up. And how do we do that? So first of all, you're going to go to the Applications app and then bring it up here. And I already have it installed under my database, so I'm going to filter it and go into Installed. And then, of course, if you don't have the VIP just yet, it'll prompt you to install the app. But here it is down at the bottom. All right, so that's how we get to the VIP, first of all. And then once we get there, we'll go ahead and configure it. So with Odoo's VIP, uh, we have a native integration with Asterix and Onsip. So for today's demonstration, I'm utilizing an Onsip account. So to get there, we're going to go into our general settings. Give it a second to load. We're gonna scroll all the way at the bottom here and see integrations. So down here at the bottom, we're gonna see Asterix, VOIP, and Onsip. So again, I'm using Onsip. So within your Onsip account, uh, you'll have a domain there. And then um, there's a WebSocket that you utilize to make this something that you can do on your production database. And um, I'm not going to get into the technicalities of setting that up right now, but I will show you how it works in real time. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my CRM application and have Noel, our community manager, yeah. go ahead and call in to my database. Here we go. We are calling. All right. As you can see, we have an incoming call from an unknown person. So upon go ahead and call in. You're going to see the bottom um, prompts to go ahead and lift it up. So you can, so see, you can that see that we are, we are in communication, communication with, with right. somebody calling into our line. And from here, this is where it gets pretty good. So, so say for example, the bottom. So normally you would have the contacts information if their caller ID shows. But in any case, you do have the ability to bring up their customer information and send them an email. And of course, a response to them over the phone. So to better give you guys a sense of how we can use this in real time with your CRM, I'm going to go ahead and just hang up this call. And of course, it's going to give you a time indicator just as it would on a regular telephone. But I'll go ahead and click into one of the opportunities that I have in my pipeline. So it looks like I've had quite some back and forth with this customer named Annie. And as you can see, I have her contact information already listed here. So utilizing that VOIP, I'm going to go ahead and call this telephone number. So we are calling Annie at this time. Let me give it any second now. Okay. So it looks like we're getting a call on the phone. It's dialing now. Okay. Getting a little bit of lag time here. Hang on right here. And we have, we have it, <laughs> it is on. So say for example, I'm communicating with the person over the telephone. 
And since I have Annie on the line with me, I am able to pull up her customer information. So with that being said, I am now on Annie's contact card. And from here, I could go ahead and still um, be on the phone with her, but X out this little icon or just drop it down and see what information she has. So say for example, I've already had communications with her, we already have an existing sale or something of that sort. So we could go ahead and click into it from her contact card and see that we have a record of her order already invoiced and you know, say for example, she's asking, has it been delivered? And from just looking at the screen, we can tell that it has been. And in any other case, we can still have um, other communications with Annie still through the VOIP. So say for example, I want to send her an email. Like, uh, if this is new and something that's on the catalog, so it'll prompt us from the CRM still to send her an email. And of course, if you're utilizing um, your own personal email, you can also link that into the Odoo uh, account that you have. So I'll be synchronized. But moreover, I'm going to be utilizing an email template. So um, we have a partner mass mail that we can do from here. But better off, I'm going to use a different one. So I'm going to go ahead and expand this and see if I could go into my list of templates. I'm actually just going to cancel it from here. And I'm going to minimize the screen again. Don't forget to hang up. Oh, yes. I'm going to go ahead and just hang up the phone real quick. Okay. and we're out so the phone call is done it looks like Annie has another request for us so I'm gonna go ahead and just send her uh, an active email template that I have so I'm gonna go into uh, the send message um, within the Odoo chatter and I'm gonna go ahead and maximize the screen that I have and down at the right it says use template so Give me just one second here. Okay, from the opportunity itself, still the same contact. There we go. I'm gonna utilize this email template that I already configured. So from here, you could see that it had automatically populated our meet our latest edition email. So I am utilizing um, a few dynamics on here. So it's already auto-populating her name. Uh, it's got a picture of our latest item that we added to the catalog. And in this case, it is a bicycle. And also I had created a link to our shop page. And then within utilizing Odoo CRM, you can create these templates on the fly. So just to give you a better idea of how I created this one that we're looking at here, I'm gonna go ahead and just expand this. So technically, we're creating a new email template or editing an existing one. So of course, you can put your basic content information. You could name the template itself and say that it applies to any leads or opportunities. And of course, um, any of these email templates can be utilized with whatever applications are on your database. So as you can see here, I have accounting and other things. but. In this um, email template, I've created just like a normal message that you would send. And we also have dynamic placeholders. So say for example, if you always wanted to auto-populate the opportunity or lead's name, uh, you could just do that from here by clicking the opportunity field and seeing that it's um, the opportunity from the CRM. And you can take the object's name. And then what I did was I just copied this and then pasted it right into our content here so that way when i created this email it's still creating this template and then if we just send it over to them that pretty much summarizes how we could create that and then of course from here if you would like to see a continuation of a potential sales cycle that can happen over the phone uh, utilizing the vip we just had contact with this customer. We just sent her a link to our shop page so now she could go into it and go ahead and just order whatever was on the template. Let's go ahead and just finish out this workflow by adding it to the cart. And then she can go ahead and just process the entire checkout. So that way you can do all of this over the phone as well. Like say for example, you had the customer on the phone and they would like to take this order 
online uh, or over the phone, you can just do that. But that's basically how you can utilize Odoo's VOIP in synchronization with our CRM and pretty much get things going in that regard. And in that meantime, do we have any questions at this time? It doesn't look like it, no, yeah. I mean, uh, pretty pretty thorough uh, explanation of, uh, of VOIP and templates. I guess we'll give people a minute to see if they have any last minute ones. Mm -hmm. uh, in the meantime, however, I would like to remind everyone that we are currently in uh, Odoo Tour mode. Uh, we have events happening in this country and all around the world, and you can find the latest information on any of our tour events and see where the closest one might be to you at our website at odoo.com uh, slash events. Uh, so let's see, uh, if you would like to get in touch with us about uh, today's topic or anything regarding uh, webinars, send us an email to webinars at odoo.com. Or once again, if you would like to get in touch with Anjanette, Anjanette, what is your email address? It is a n j at o-d-o-o dot com. Excellent. Uh, well, all right. Uh, I think that that's going to do it for us here. Uh, short and sweet. That's how we like it. I uh, hope everybody's ready for the weekend. And Jeanette, is there anything else you'd like to add before we uh, before we head out? Um, not anything else that hasn't already been previously mentioned in other webinars that we have. And in relation to that, um, say, for example, if you're looking for a thorough CRM demonstration all in all, please feel free to contact me by my email. And I've also included a direct link to my calendar. So if there are any other questions that you may have about any other applications, I am happy to help you with that. Great. Uh, well, then, from us here in uh, San Francisco, thanks for watching, and we will see you all next time.